Hello, yeah. welcome to this video. Briefly, I'm going to show you how to do simple API integration. Now, you can be a developer that wants to integrate a solution into an existing third party application. It can be a V2 website or any other website you think you have built and you want to connect to our API. These are processes you need to follow. Firstly, you need to have an account on instantv2.com.ng. So it's completely free of charge. You can get started for absolutely free of charge. Just log into instantv2.com.ng create a free account to start your integration process. So I'm just going to briefly show you uh, how you can actually uh, register. All you have to do is to click on uh, sign up here, then fill up the details account, which is very simple. It's completely free of charge. So just fill up your details here, your username, your last name, username, email address, and once you fill up your, your details, you just click on uh, sign up, define your pins. Once you are signed up, you can then log into your account. So I'm just logging into my own account. So you can see I'm logged in. So once I'm logged in, what do I do as a developer that want to integrate our API, especially on data? Data API is available from for all network. That includes Airtel, Glue, Nine Mobile, SME plans. Okay. So I'm logged in already. So what I need to do is to briefly do my integration. And for you to do integration, you must already understand integration process, which I don't want to go in for this in this video, but I know you understand what I mean by integration process. You should understand the simple integration process. So first of all, to get started, you need to find your wallet, which of course, you can do that by clicking on phone wallet. Make sure you pay to the bank transfer, okay? Pay to manual bank transfer. Because auto banking, you may pay it and it may get delayed for crediting your account. But make sure you make payments to this company account to fund your wallet. You can fund with like 500 just to test your integration process. But for you to get started, you need to scroll down here and then click on developer APIs. Once you are registered, you'll be assigned a developer uh, uh, documentation immediately by the system because we make it that every users on the system gets access to the developer API. So if you look at here, you see the instruction to get started. The method is very, very simple. This is post and get uh, API. This is actually the endpoint. Let me be using an uh, uh, arrow just to demonstrate what I'm saying here. This is the endpoint for you to be able to get started during your integration process. So you also need your ID and then your API key. So as I said earlier, once you are registered, you'll be assigned these two parameters, but you can get your API key by clicking here. So once you click on this place, I'm going to open it in another tab so that you're able to see what I mean by your API key. And then how do you get your ID? Your ID can be seen on your dashboard. Let me show you. Anytime you register, you will be able to see your ID. I'm going to show you just in a brief, but I'm going to show you that of a, the API key, and I also I'm going to show, show you the ID, how to get two of them. So here is the API key. Once you click on upgrade, you can also locate this by click, going to the account section here. You just click on account, then you click on upgrade plan. You'll be able to see me directed here. So this is actually your ID. What what the system is actually asking you that you need these two parameter to do integration. So this is your ID here. You need this ID for you to be able to uh, integrate. Yeah, uh, the system solution into your existing uh, application. Then your ID here is is what we are referring to here. This 